Hello, welcome back, little ones. Welcome back, family members. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. Let us get right into prayer. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Hope you all having a good morning, a beautiful morning. Let us all get right into prayer. Father God, we thank you for uh, waking us up this morning, Father God. We thank you for another glorious day that you made. We to rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we shall. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice in the Lord. Thank you, Father God, for our family members, our loved ones, our friends, our strangers and enemies. Strangers and enemies, because that's what helps us to grow. We learn. By learning how to treat them, we learn how to treat others. Come on, how to treat ourselves. When we all have respect for one another, may we all uh, strive for holiness each and every day. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us, setting us an example for us. We only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you for waking us up this morning, Father God. Thank you for uh, your grace and your mercy. Without your grace and mercy, we would not be here. Thank you for your long suffering, not easy to anger. Uh, strength, uh, strengths, I say strengths, yeah, traits that we all need, but strengths that we all need, Lord God. We need them in this day and age. Father God, thank you for the gift of your holy angels that watch over us each and every day, all day, while we work and play and while we at rest. Thank you, Father God, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that guides us to all truth, also known as the Comforter. Thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus, for the remission of our sins, pain in full, though we know we need to work our own salvation and fear and trembling of the Most High. Thank you, Father God, for your outstretched arm. Thank you, Father God, for your love. Thank you, Father God, for you keeping us and not forsaking us. And thank you for forgiving us, Father God, through our faults and our transgressions. Because Lord knows, I have many, I have many faults. And um, while we in these uh, fleshly bodies, Lord knows, uh, the flesh fights against the spirit. And so we strive. We have to strive every day for holiness. Because right now we're in the last days and holiness is the only thing that is acceptable. We can't have excuses. There are no more excuses. Our time is up. We have to do what is right. We have to strive for holiness. Let us all um, love our loved ones. Let us all have love in our hearts for everyone. Even if we can't be around all, we still want to love them all with the love of the Lord. Father God has a head of protection around all the listeners, the viewers, uh, all our family members, all those in the body of Christ, Lord God, all those that are seeking us, seeking your face, that are striving for holiness, Lord God. We ask that you cover us all with the blood of Jesus, Lord God. Help us, Lord God. Help us to help ourselves, Lord. Help us, Lord. We all need you. We do nothing of our own. We do nothing of our own accord. It's all you. We can do nothing of our own. Glory be to God. We give you all the honor, praise, and glory, Lord God. We do. And uh, you're worthy to be praised. You're greatly to be praised, by the way. We praise you, Lord God, in every way, shape, and form. We say thank you. We are grateful to you and for you for any and everything that you do have done and will do, Father God. Father God, we ask you to help us please guide our eyes, heart, mind, and soul at all times because evil is waiting to pounce. It's at the door, even at the door. But you know what, Lord God? We will not let him in. There's no place in us and no space in us for him at all. Evil will not travail. That's right. He not travail. Evil will not prevail. How about that? We go through what we be going through the travail and all that now. Mm. But you know what? We will prevail and evil will, will not prevail. We will not let him in. Ain't no place in us and no space in us for him. We, we shun him. We could continue to shun him. We're gonna keep on stepping forward in holiness. We're going to stand steadfast on your word, Father God. We thank you for your word. Your word will forever stand. Your word is spirit and truth and it gives life. And we thank you, Father God, for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Where we be without you, my Father. We can't say thank you enough. Hallelujah. Let us walk. Let us walk upright. Let us strive for holiness. Every day we're going to strive. And every day we're going to make, even when the days we make mistakes, that's okay. We get up, we start over. You know, we fall down, but we get up. How about that? Glory be to God. Well, Father God, we can't say thank you enough. We can never say enough thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. If anything that try to come up against us in any way, shape, or form to block our blessings, 
to block our prayers from going forth, to block this video from going forth, to come up against me as an adversary, to come up against this video, to come up against God's children. We rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We'll take you, bind you, and cast you out to a place you'll never return. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We say go from which you came and don't come back. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We proclaim Jesus Christ and he alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. And you already condemned in judgment. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. And Father God, we love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Every member of our body belong to you and only you, Father God. We say use us for your glory and your glory alone. And we love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we seal this prayer to you, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. We seal it with a huggy, with an holy kiss. Hallelujah. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, that we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Tell your loved ones that you love them. Parents, lift your children up in prayer to the Most High. Lift them up by name. Call on them. Let them know that you want to cover your children, Lord God. Parents, please cover your children. Please, cover the children. The anoint your children if you can. Anoint your children. Pray over them. Teach them how to pray. Don't let your children be vulnerable. You know, children are a lot smarter than we think. Te teach your children how to play. Let your house be a house of prayer. All right? Let your house be a house of prayer. Teach them children how to pray. Teach those children to read that word. Teach them, teach them how to pick up the word. It's just as good as any other book, if not better. Teach them how to read. And put more than any, teach them how to pray. Cover them in prayer. Hallelujah, before they leave out that house. Every day before they leave out that house, pray over your children, please. And with that being said, I hope you all have given your life to Christ. If you haven't, now is the time. Now is the time. All right? We're not going to wait another minute. We're going to get right to it. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back. Hallelujah. And he's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. And if you're ready to do what is right and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then say this prayer. Say it from your heart and mean it. Mean it that you're truly going to accept him. There's no playing games. We don't have time for games. Okay? I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy, sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life, live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for coming into my life and being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for accepting a lonely sinner such as myself. I'm so very grateful, and I thank you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, please repent. Please repent and turn from your wicked ways. That means you're going to strive for holiness now. We're not going to continue to sin. We're not going to live a life of sin. Okay? And you're going to be baptized down in water in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make sure that you're that the person that is going to baptize you have the authority to do so. Make sure they're filled with the Holy Spirit. Because if they don't, they if they're not, and they're living in this world, they can't help you. Okay? Make sure you baptize down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And uh, this is not a, re a religion. It's a personal relationship, a commitment between you and the Lord thy God. A personal relationship. You're going to get to know him by reading your word daily. Reading your word daily, going down on your knees and calling on him. Read your word. He'll begin to, to uh, have that relationship with you. If you draw a nigh to him, he'll draw a nigh to you. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Congratulations in your walk with Christ. Remember, it's not a religion. It's a personal relationship. I love you. And congratulations to the body of Christ. May we, in the body of Christ, welcome you, love you, pray with you, pray without ceasing, uh, fast, bear one another's burdens, love and charity, because it covers a multitude of sin. Hallelujah. 
Again, welcome my brother and sister in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, today the Lord has given me, we're going to go to scripture. He has given me Psalms. And uh, I think I'm going to do Psalm number 104, 105, and 106. Psalm 104. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment? Who stretches out the heavens like a curtain? Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who maketh the clouds his chariot? Who walketh upon the wings of the wind? Who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers of flaming fire? Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed forever? Thou coverest it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke, thy fled. At the voice of thy thunder, thy hasted away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys, unto the place which thou hast founded for them. Thou hast set a bound that they may not pass over, that they turn not again to cover the earth. He sendeth the springs into the valleys, which run among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the fowls of the heaven have their habitation, which sing among the branches. He watereth the hills from his chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle, and herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon, which he hath planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and the rocks for the conies. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou makest darkness, and it is night, wherein all the beasts of the forest do creep forth. The young lions roar after their prey, and seek their meat from God. The sun ariseth, they gather themselves together, and lay them down in their dens. Man goeth forth unto his work, and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy riches. So is this great and wide sea, wherein are all things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. These wait upon all upon thee, that thou mayest give them their meat in due season, that thou givest them they gather. Thou openest thine hand, they are filled with good. Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled. Thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. The glory of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looketh on the earth, and it trembleth. He toucheth the hills, and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Let the sinners be consumed out of the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless thou the Lord, O my soul. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 105. O give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham, and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant, saying, Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. When they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He brake the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters, 
He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They shewed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance in the chambers of their kings. He spake, and there came divers sorts of flies, and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hell for rain, and flaming fire in their land. He smote their vines also, and their fig trees, and brake the trees of their coasts. He spake, and the locusts came, and caterpillars, and that without number. And did eat up all the herbs in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength. He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the water squished out. They ran in the dry places like a river, for he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness. And gave them the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 106. Praise ye the Lord. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for he, his mercy endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can shew forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, for the favor that thou bearest, unto thy people. O oh, visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity. We have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the Red Sea also, and it was dried up. So he led them through the depths, as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of him that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies. There was not one of them left. Then believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted God in the desert. And he gave them their request but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the same of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Abraham, and a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in work and worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, had not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yea, they despised the pleasant land. They believed not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Baal Peor, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague break in upon them. Then stood up Phineas, and executed judgment, and so the plague was stayed, and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sake. But they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled among the heathen and learned their works. And they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. 
Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus were they defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen, that they hated them that ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen, to give thanks unto thy holy name, and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for everlasting, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, that's right. We need to be praising him at all times. We need to be obedient and do what is right. Can't keep going like our forefathers and doing what's wrong. With that being said, we move forward. We are still on uh, the book of Numbers. We are on chapter 7. The leaders bring gifts to the sacred tent. The leaders bring gifts to the sacred tent. When Moses had finished setting up the sacred tent, he dedicated it to the Lord, together with his furnishings, the altar, and his equipment. Then the twelve tribal leaders of Israel... The same men who had been in charge of counting the people came to the tent with gifts for the Lord. They brought six strong carts and twelve oxen, one ox from each leader and a cart from every two. The Lord said to Moses, Accept these gifts so that the whites can use them here at the sacred tent for carrying the sacred things. Then Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the whites, who were under the leadership of Ithamar, son of Aaron. Moses gave two carts and four oxen to the Gershonites, for their work, and four carts and eight oxen to the Merorites for their work. But Moses did not give any to the Kohathites, because they were in charge of the sacred objects that had to be carried on their shoulders. On the day the altar was dedicated, the twelve leaders brought offerings for its dedication. The Lord said to Moses, Each day one leader is to give his offering for the dedication. So each leader brought the following gifts, a silver bowl that weighed over three pounds, and a silver sprinkling bowl weighing almost two pounds, both of them filled with flour and olive oil as grain offerings or grain sacrifices, and weighed according to the official standards. A small gold dish filled with incense, a young bull, a full-grown ram, and a young old ram as sacrifices to please the Lord, a goat as a sacrifice for sin, and two bulls, five full-grown rams, five goats, and five rams, a year old as sacrifices to ask the Lord's blessing. The tribal leaders brought their grip, brought their gifts and offerings in the following order. Excuse me, Lord. On the first day, Nashon from Judah. On the second day, Nathaniel from Issachar. On the third day, Eliab from Zebulon. On the fourth day, Eleazar from Reuben. On the fifth day, Shalimuel from Simeon. On the sixth day, Eliasaph from Gad. On the seventh day, Elishama from Ephraim. On the eighth day, Gamaliel. Gamaliel from Manasseh. On the ninth day, Abaddon from Benjamin. On the tenth day, Ahiza from Dan. On the eleventh day, Hegel from Asher. On the twelfth day, Ahira from Naphtali. And so, when the altar was dedicated to the Lord, these twelve leaders brought the following gifts. Twelve silver bowls and twelve silver sprinkling bowls, weighing a total of about sixty pounds, according to the official standards. Twelve gold dishes filled with incense and weighing about three pounds. Twelve bulls, twelve full-grown rams, and twelve rams a year old as sacrifices to please the Lord, along with the proper grain sacrifices. Twelve bulls as sacrifices for sin, and twenty-four bulls, sixty full-grown rams, grown rams, sixty goats, and sixty rams a year old as sacrifices to ask the Lord's blessing. Whenever Moses needed to talk with the Lord, he went into the sacred tent where he heard the Lord's voice coming from between the two winged creatures above the lid of the sacred chest. Amen. Tomorrow, God's willing, we come back to chapter 8 of Numbers. Aaron puts the gold lamps in place. 
You all tell your loved ones that you love them. Tell them about Father God, who's our Heavenly Father. He's also uh, Jesus Christ in the flesh. Glory be to God. Well, Father God is the Holy Spirit, and that Holy Spirit dwells within that body, that fleshly body of Jesus. Well, they are one. Okay? And um, with that being said, you all, I love you all with the love of the Lord. Please tell your loved ones that you love them. And parents, please lift your children up in prayer. Pray for your children. Teach these children how to pray. Don't let them be vulnerable. And be careful what they're learning in school and these gadgets. Don't let these gadgets be uh, the babysitter for your children. Turn these TVs off. You know, spend time with your children. That's more important than and teaching them how to pray and reading the word with them. Instead of letting them roam and all these gadgets and play these video games. These, these things are so demonic. These things were made for good. Don't get it twisted. But, people, but now so much evil is crapping in on the use of these things. You know, so we have to be very careful and very mindful. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Of course, we know Jesus loves the little children. So we're going to go out with Jesus loves the little children. Come on. I love you, little ones. I love you, family members. God bless you all. Jesus loves the little children. All the children of the world. Red, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I have a joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus in my soul. I have the joy, joy, joy. Joy, 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 joy like King Jesus in my soul. I sure hope you have the joy like King Jesus in your soul. And let your light shine. Let the light shine, okay? Let your light so shine that it will glorify your Father which are in heaven. I love you all with the love of the Lord. You all have a blessed day. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. God bless you all. Bye-bye.